So, previously we found the zeros by, by basically uh, factoring uh, the trinomial. So now, but that was a specific instance when my coefficient, the, the numeric factor of the x squared term is 1. What happens when our a, remember the general function, the general form of a quadratic in standard form is a x squared plus bx plus c. What happens? What happens when a does not equal 1? Right? That's the question. Well, if it's not, you can't let it be 0 because otherwise it's not a quadratic. So what happens if it's a number other than 1? Well, here's what you do. Basically, we're going to learn how to factor factor by grouping. And let me go through a process whereby this will become evident, what we mean by grouping, as we go through this. So here we go. We have our function f of x equals 2x squared plus 9x plus 4. So here's how this differs from the first process we just learned. We are going to ask another question. What is the product is the product of AC? In other words, we're going to take the 2, multiply it by the 4, and we see that the product is 8. So we're going to ask the same two questions that we asked in the previous video. What two numbers multiplied together? Now instead of C, it's AC. What two numbers when multiplied together will give you 8? And when you add those same two numbers together, give you the middle term co numeric coefficient. Well, so what two numbers when added together give you 9? Well, this is so easy that it's hard. You're looking at that going, oh my gosh, what two numbers could I use that would, when I multiply them together, give me 8. When I add them together, give me 9. Well, the answer is 1 and 8. 1 times 8 gives you 8. 1 plus 8 gives you 9. So here's what we're going to do with that. We are going to take that same function, f of x equals 2x squared plus 9x plus 4. And we're going to rewrite this middle term as a sum of two terms. And those two terms are going to be 1x and 8x. So here we go. We're going to go f of x equals 2x squared plus 1x plus 8x plus 4. So it looks just like it did before, but we broke this 9x up into a 1x and an 8x. Now, we're going to use the term, now hence the term grouping. We are going to group these two. Let me get my pen going here. They're going to group these four terms into two groups of two terms. So we're going to go 2x squared plus 1x plus 8x plus 4. And then we're going to factor. What is my greatest common factor in this first group? Well, it's x. I can take an x out of both of these, factor out an x. I'm left with 2x plus 1. Gee, what is my greatest common factor in the second group? Well, it's 4. I can take and group and factor out a 4, leaving me with 2x plus 1. Wow, I don't know if you see this or not, but think of this as a times b plus c times b. What property could you use? What property could you use? I'm hoping you're going to tell me distributive property, Mr. Lovell Ford. I can rewrite this 
as b times the quantity a plus c. Well, what's my b? My b is 2x plus 1. What's my a? It's x. What's my c? It's 4. So here we go. We now have f of x equals 2x plus 1 times x plus 4. Now, if we are trying to find the zeros, what do I do to this f of x? I assign it the value 0. So we have 2x plus 4, x plus 4. And now I let, I use the zero product rule, and this times, if this 2x plus 4 times x plus 4 equals 0, then I know that 2x plus 4 equals 0, and or, that's an a slash o, and or, x plus 4 equals 0. We'll solve these two equations. Let's see, 2x equals negative 4, therefore, and if I divide both sides by 2, I get x equals negative 2. Here, all I have to do is subtract 4 from both sides, and I get x equals negative 4. There are my zeros for that specific function.